we're meeting with two former congressmen from the United States House of Representatives. Uh, on the left hand side we have Mr. Larry Larocco, who, uh, was, who is a former congressman from Idaho. Mm -hmm. And on the right hand side we have Mr. Scott Kluck, who is a former congressman from the state of Wisconsin. It's a great pleasure to have you in here. And I'll shoot the first question. If you would be able to choose one thing accomplished by President Obama, what would it be? And conversely, which of the political moves uh, of President Obama you would prefer him to avoid? The one uh, signature issue that uh, he addressed was uh, the economy. Um, and I think he kept the economy from really going into a deeper recession, uh, even a depression. Uh, the situation he was handed when he walked into office was dismal. Uh, we were hemorrhaging jobs and uh, um, uh, although some people will criticize the stimulus program and uh, uh, what he's done, I think uh, keeping us out of a deeper recession and putting us on the track towards uh, increased employment has been good to avoid. Uh, I think uh, his uh, handling uh, of the uh, student loan issue was one where I think we needed uh, uh, more private sector involvement uh, uh, with that instead of making it just a government solution, actually. Yeah. Well, I think the economy is the key issue was handed, and, and I think the major point I disagree with is how he's handled the economy. You know, we had this huge stimulus program. Very little of it went into public works projects, less than a fifth of it. Um, a lot of the money was used to backfill um, shortfalls in state treasuries. So what it managed to do was to keep teachers employed for another nine months till those state hit their individual crises. That did nothing to stimulate the economy. It was just sort of backfill. Um, and I think consequently, we've still got a stalled out economy, but now we have a trillion dollars in spending that we didn't have before that. Um, so I think uh, he's uh, not done a very good job managing the economy, which is why we have uh, this huge unemployment problem that's persisted for the last four years. In terms of what he's done well, I mean, I think in some ways it's the per president's personal story. I mean, I, it was a, a huge signature moment for the United States to elect an African-American president. Um, and I think the sort of enthusiasm and pride you saw not only among African-Americans but among college students, I think had to be admired by anybody uh, just for what he's accomplished as the president personally in, in terms of the economy. I, I think he's done a pretty miserable job, which is why I think he's going to have a tough re-election. Um, could you explain, since you're from both parties, could you explain what would the U.S. foreign policy look like in the event of Barack Obama getting re-elected or in the event uh, the victory is in Mitt Romney's side? Um, I, I think that uh, Secretary Clinton has done a, a wonderful job as Secretary of uh, State. Uh, uh, again, uh, we've had a, a recent problem in, in Libya, but uh, I think the, the way that uh, we handled Libya overall with Gaddafi's overthrow and so forth was a, a new way of thinking in the Middle East where we didn't go in with boots on the ground and American troops and trying to force ourselves onto uh, a country in the Middle East uh, as the Bush administration did in Iraq, uh, for example. So I think that uh, uh, that type of approach was, was masterful. I think his speech at the UN recently was uh, very, very good. I think it was encompassing. It, it showed respect for other nations, uh, their sovereignty, and the, the way that we would uh, uh, handle the, the diplomacy. Um, I don't think there's much of a difference between Romney and, and uh, um, and Obama right now in terms of uh, policies towards Israel and uh, uh, actually in the policies towards Iran. And I think that what the president has done in terms of uh, gathering public support from the world community against Iran with the success of the sanctions has been uh, very good. Um, now, the, the, the focus on the Middle East has left uh, some uh, holes, if you will, in Latin America and, and actually uh, in our transatlantic relations as well. Uh, but I think on, on, on the whole, I think that uh, uh, America remains strong and respected uh, around the world. You know, I think in terms of foreign policy, I think you'll see from Mitt Romney and the foreign policy team around him a much more sense of real politic. I mean, if I've got a disappointment with the president, it was this sort of naive sense that if you somehow sat down and talked to Iran, problems would go away. If you sat down and talked to North Korea, problems would go away. It's just, uh, you know, dangerous places in the world led by dangerous people. Um, and I think the president has ac accomplished absolutely nothing with any of those regimes with, um, you know, sort of this uh, hope and faint praise and diplomacy, which I don't think went anywhere. 
Similarly, I think you'll see from President Romney um, from some very blunt talk. I mean, you know, one thing I liked about Ronald Reagan is he made it very clear where U.S. foreign policy was and where the principles were, and he stuck to them. And I think President Romney will do the same thing with Russia and its continuing attempts to sort of rebuild its sphere of influence in Eastern Europe. I think you'll see a very uh, firm line with Iran, um, and I think you'll see a much tougher policy on China than we've had in the last four years. So I would expect President uh, Romney uh, in many ways to pick up the mantle of Ronald Reagan and be much more forceful in terms of foreign policy.